This is a very generic topic because there are so many elements involved. I can't give you a straightforward answer because I have to know what your condition is. If you're telling me, Sheikh, this woman is a practicing woman or non-practicing woman, but I am deeply in love and I am this far from falling into haram. I have the means to fall into haram. I will fall into haram and I have to get married. And if I don't, I will lose my sanity. I cannot focus. I will be kicked from my job. I cannot do anything. This is different from someone. He says, no, I like her and she looks fine and I want to get married. And I'm always fighting with my father over the type of clothes and the color that I wear and my haircut and with, um, the food I don't like. And so we're always bickering and fighting. This is different from the first situation. So generally speaking, is she the last woman on earth? The answer is no. Yeah, the sky is the limit. Consider her having a stroke and dying. What will you do? You will weep for a week and then look for someone else, right? Khalas. Allah irhamha. May Allah have mercy on her. We will pray janaz inshallah after fajr. But if this is a difference, you see, you can't answer without knowing everything sitting with the man, talking with him, seeing his relationship. Sometimes the guy says, Sheikh, I brought 10 women to my father and mother and they rejected them all. Why? They want my cousin. They promised my uncle that I will marry his daughter and they will never speak to me. They're blackmailing me. They're doing this and they're forcing me to marry someone I don't want. So no, don't leave. Don't obey him. Obey, obey them. Put your foot down. Say, Sheikh, but they're blackmailing me. They're forcing me. Akhi, if you're still suckling from your mom, go and get married as she wants you to. No, Sheikh, I'm a grown-up man. I don't suckle. I use bottle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyhow, you get my point. Huh? So move on. You're a real man. Khalas. Don't marry someone you don't want because they all come to me after five years with three children <laughs> saying, Sheikh, I can't stay with her anymore. They all come to me for counseling. Okay, I'm getting paid. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, it's good for business. But why did you agree? Sheikh, they blackmailed me and they did this, they did that. We will never talk to you. We will cut you from the inheritance. Think before you act of the consequences. By the way, all Islamic law and Sharia is based, based on consequences. Everything we do in Sharia is evaluated on the consequences. What will happen? This is what determines should I go forward or refrain? So I, I hope this answers your question.